Hello Gemini, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your Love and Life reading for the first half of November from the 1st through the 15th. General reading as always guys, it won't resonate with every single person, so please do take from it what makes sense for you and release the rest. If you're interested in your own personal private reading, that information is down below in the description box and I will provide a link to all of the decks and creators that you see here today, Gemini. So these are my three self-created decks. We're going to start things off with a Sugar and Spice Oracle. A little naughty, a little nice, but it can also contain challenging messages in here. So we'll see what comes forward for you, Gemini. And then we'll go ahead and grab one from the Heart and Soul Love Oracle. And lastly, we'll grab a song from the Heart Songs deck. Okay, so let's see where this goes. Let's get started. Okay, so Sugar and Spice. This can, of course, also be for cross watchers and anyone else who's been guided to tune in. Angels and spirit guides, please. For Gemini. I'm guided to this card here. We've got nutmeg. Okay. My love for you runs deep. I can't help but feel nostalgic about all those wonderful times we've shared together. Those sweet memories warm my heart and fill my life with so much joy. Let's create new memories, shall we? Okay, so this is a card about nostalgia and wanting to build more memories together. And this could be you expressing this to a person, Gemini, or this could be whoever it is you're focused on for this reading that's wanting to convey this message to you. The love runs deep, okay? So that's really a beautiful message. Somebody could also really love nutmeg, and which is such a fall flavor for me. So considering the time of year that we're at, you know, the cooler weather, fall season, the autumn season, it's kind of in tune with that type of vibe. So something of significance might actually happen for you and your person during the fall season here, okay? Or that season plays a role somewhere along the line of the relationship. All right, so let's add your second focus message here from the Heart and Soul Love Oracle. All right, where am I guided here? Down here on the corner, which is probably off camera. Yeah, we've got the end, okay? And we do have a female figure in this photo, so it could have been the feminine who ended things with the masculine. So let's see what this says. I've tried to convince you that love was worth a shot that you and I are so incredibly compatible. We're a perfect match. I've tried to make you see that I'll be here for you through thick and thin, that no matter what life hands us, we can make it through, but I can't keep trying for both of us. I guess we've reached the end of the road. So what's coming through here, Gemini, is that there was a bit of an imbalance in the partnership that one person was giving more than the other. And perhaps somebody was taken for granted here, okay? And that truly the love runs deep. And I feel that that love was mutual, but somewhere along the line, somebody dropped the ball here. Could have been the masculine, but you know, take it for how it resonates for your situation and how that makes sense here for you. All right, so let's go ahead and grab one card from the Heart Songs deck here and if you're not familiar with the song see if you resonate with the lyrics angels and spirit guides please for gemini for this love and life reading first half of november all right i'm guided to this one living on a prayer by bon jovi somebody could be a bon jovi fan somebody could be really tapped into their faith or have turned to prayer about this connection the lyrics We've got to hold on to what we've got. It doesn't make a difference if we make it or not. We've got each other, and that's a lot for love. We'll give it a shot. You know, this could even represent future energies here, Gemini. Giving it another try. Giving it another shot. Okay? And maybe for some of you guys, you feel as though it's going to take a miracle or a prayer. Divine intervention you know, in order to fix the situation. But let's see, you know, crazier things have happened in love and romance. All right, so let's add to this, of course, and see where this is going to go for you. So we're going to start with the Twin Flame Untold Truths deck by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot, Gemini. And this, of course, you don't have to identify with a Twin Flame connection. 
we're more so focused on the messages, okay? Angels and spirit guides for Gemini, please. First half of November and love and life. All right. What do we need to know? Look at this. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. Give it a shot. That's what you're being directed to do at this time. Maybe it's not the end, you know? I mean, this is here because you guys more than likely had to go your separate ways. But what's coming through here for me, Gemini, is that perhaps there will be a reconciliation here that it is worth a shot, that it is worth giving it another chance. What else, please? Angels and spirit guides. Forgiveness. Forgiveness is needed in order for this to move forward. Look at the next message. We've got soulmate, okay? So maybe you see this person as your soulmate, Gemini. You feel this deep soul connection with this person. What else, please, for Gemini? Look at this, see? Look at that. A reconciliation. Yes, I felt it. There is a chance here, guys, that this can still come back. Doesn't matter where you guys are at on this journey. What's presenting itself here is that the love that you share between the two of you through this soul connection that you share, that's the love that's going to pull you guys back towards each other. Because as this card says, you guys are a perfect match. That doesn't mean the relationship is perfect. It just means that you guys fit together so perfectly. Very compatible. You guys get along fantastically. And it's worth revisiting. It's truly, it's worth giving it another shot. They're dreaming of you, okay? Or you're both dreaming of each other. But first, this has to be a priority. You got to love yourself first, Gemini. And perhaps your person, they need to focus on that as well. Okay, so let's dig a little bit deeper here, Gemini, with some insight from the Arrows of Love deck. This is by Mystic Moon. Angels and Spirit Guides for Gemini, please. First half of November in love and life. What else do we need to know here? Give it a shot. Give it a chance watch very soon okay so maybe sooner rather than later you might hear from them or you might reach out or that this reconciliation might actually come to fruition before you know it you know so this could be around the corner here for some of you guys we've got love line revived coming through here as well so this has a chance to be revived for this reconciliation to happen. This could also be communication that comes in, that gets the ball rolling towards an apology and forgiveness. And then we've got phantom lover fantasy falling right below soulmate. So during this time of separation, Gemini, from your person, you guys are probably fantasizing about each other. Whether that's sexual in nature or just fantasizing about coming back together or what it would be like for you guys to actually work through this look at this love potential there is certainly a very strong potential represented here for this reconciliation my goodness I don't think it's uh, I don't think this chapter of your love life with this person Gemini I don't think it's done I don't think it's over they want to be able to create new memories with you. And there's something about this time of year that represents something special for some of you guys. A blessing in disguise, okay? So maybe this separation is coming through as a blessing because there are perhaps experiences or lessons or realizations that needed to be, you know, experienced. Rendezvous, you see? They want to meet up with you, Gemini, and you could be feeling this way too. This, to me, looks like, considering the holidays are coming up, 
It could be a celebratory toast at a party, at an event. This could be a New Year's toast leading up to the new year. This could be a celebratory toast at a wedding, an engagement, cause for celebration, you know? And this represents for me the energy, the same energy as the Two of Cups, which is all about partnership, the intense connection that they feel with you and that you feel with them and wanting to bring this back into union. And lastly, we've got key to my heart. So perhaps you do hold the key to this person's heart or they hold the key to yours. Whoa. So Gemini, it just seems to me that wherever you guys are at on this journey, it might not be a done deal. Okay, so let's grab some tarot. This is my tarot teacher deck that I've created for those who would like to learn how to read tarot for yourselves. I've made it very simple for you to learn and that each card contains an upright and reversed meaning. So there's no second guessing what it means. It's right there in front of you. So if that's something that you're interested in purchasing, the deck shop link is down below, as well as all of the other creators that you see here. Okay, Gemini. So let's continue. What else here? For Gemini, please, angels and spirit guides. We've got the Four of Wands. Unbelievable. This is a card of reunions of celebrations, of a wedding, a homecoming, two people working together, happy families. I mean, this is that 1111 card, which is like a make-a-wish card, you know? It's a twin flame card as well. Wow. This can be a very successful reunion for you and your person, Gemini. And then we've got the strength card here. So for some of you guys, maybe your person is a Leo. This is the need to tap into your strength. But it's also a need to have patience, to have restraint. You know, don't do anything hasty here. Because you both have to be on the same page. I feel there's a possibility for some of you that you already are. But for others, maybe you need a little bit more time to get there. Yes, you guys have had an ending. And maybe during this time of separation, it's been very difficult for some of you to find your strength through the hard times, through the more challenging phases of this separation. And the strength card is here to restore your confidence. And it's another card, really, from the tarot deck that can represent a blessing in disguise, you know? So the tower card is one of them and the strength card is the other. So it's a blessing, even though it might not have felt like it at the time or even still right now, it's coming through that there's an underlying reason for this experience and that it could ultimately pose to be a blessing in disguise here for you and your person. Two of Wands. Fire energy here, okay? Wands energy from the Four of Wands and Two of Wands. So for some of you guys, your person could be, we already have Leo right here from the Strength card, Aries and Sagittarius as well. So with the Two of Wands, you've got two paths to make decisions here for your future with your person. You both are faced with these decisions, life-altering decisions that you need to make when it comes to this partnership. And just based off of what's presenting itself here, I feel that there will be cause to celebrate a reunion, a reconciliation, two people coming back together. But, you know, the Two of Wands can also be very restless in energy. But with the Strength card right next to it, you got to be patient for things to create movement towards heading towards the future of you guys coming back together. So I feel there's a good chance for it, but you just got to wait it out and have patience for... Perhaps the universe to align things so that it will be the right time for things to happen. And then we've got the world card right here, which is another beautiful card. Cycle completion. So what needed to complete has to do, I feel, with what ended the relationship to begin with. But this is such a beautiful card that restores harmony in the relationship, giving you new possibilities for the future. 
It's a card of fulfillment, successful conclusions, things working out, you know, and in love and romance, it's giving you a new beginning, a fresh start, a stronger foundation for you and your person to stand on. So it's really good. What else, please, for Gemini? And then we've got the two of pentacles here. Okay, so for some of you, your person is an earth sign. Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. This is juggling energy, multiple priorities, balancing decisions. Again, so making decisions, balancing decisions. It's all about time management and prioritization for you, Gemini, as well as your person, perhaps. Yes, you guys have had some ups and downs and hurdles that you've had to overcome in this partnership. But I feel that certainly you guys will be able to overcome whatever these issues are. And then we've got the Four of Cups here, okay? So the Four of Cups can indicate a missed opportunity. So, you know, we've, we already pick up that there could have been a disconnection here between the two of you with that ending. And it's given you both a lot of time to think, a lot of contemplation time, reevaluation of the situation, your life, where it's at. This is also a card of daydreaming and fantasizing, which we've already tapped into that with this phantom lover. So either you're in fantasy land with where you see you and your person going or they're really fantasizing about you. The sexual chemistry could have certainly been very magnetic and they're thinking of you in that way. But the Four of Cups can also represent regrets and depression and this energy of stagnation. And part of the reason why that is, is I feel clearly there's action that needs to be implemented here. But if nobody takes any sort of action to create movement for you guys to turn this reconciliation into reality, then I like to describe it as a train that's coming in for you. And it's time for you to get onto the train to get you to your new destination, the new chapter of your life with this person. But if you don't get on the train, then you're missing out. It's a missed opportunity. And the same applies to them. You both have to be at the same destination at the same time for this to work. But just based off of the surrounding energies with this four of wands starting things off, a happy reunion. I really do feel here, Gemini, that there's a good chance for you and this person to get it right this time. That's what I'm getting from that, okay? So let's continue and let's see what else we can tap into for this reading. So we're going to grab some messages from the Pining Rose Love Oracle. This is by Calico Moon. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Gemini. What else do we need to know here? What else do we need to know? Reconciliation. Give it a chance. Give it a shot. Yes, they're your ex. I'm not surprised to see this because you guys had an ending, okay? Someone's losing sleep over this because you guys are not together, okay? This could be you, Gemini. This could be your person or both of you just staying up late, really unable to get good solid rest and just rest your mind, rest your heart because you guys are in separation. So there's a lot that's going through your mind right now when it comes to this partnership. The chemistry, intense. Somebody wants to reach out here, okay? Through text, through voice message, online, social media, email, whatever. Somebody wants to reach out. This could be you, Gemini, who wants to reach out to your person. Or you might be surprised that you get a message from the individual that you're focused on for this reading. We have spy, so maybe you guys are checking each other out on social media, I feel, keeping tabs on each other. Part of the reason why you guys had an ending might have something to do with a third party. And this is just my own interpretation of this particular card because we have three flames here. When there's two flames for me, obviously that's a twin flame connection. Throw in that third flame, third person, third influence in this equation. But we have the word soon right there. So if this was an issue for you guys, possibly sooner rather than later, that's no longer going to be a factor. And we do have very soon here, remember, with that watch energy. So there's going to be some form of communication or movement to get you guys going in the right direction this time. Fate, you guys were destined to 
connect in this lifetime and it doesn't matter that you guys had an ending you're meant to reconnect perhaps okay somebody wants to come through with this apology i'm sorry and we've got a ring right here okay whether that's a wedding ring a promise ring a friendship ring whatever it is somebody wants to come forward with an apology and get this ring back on whoever this finger you know whoever's finger that belongs to there's this energy of waiting okay which is very much in tune with the strength card because there has to be restraint there has to be patience to just wait things out you'll know in your heart of hearts when it's time to create action gemini or your person will have to tap into that energy but clearly there is this yearning that you both have for one another missing each other somebody might even play the piano here there's an instrument in that photo could be the feminine okay there could be something about music that brought you guys together as well okay so we are now going to grab some dialogue messages here gemini we are going to start off with the divine masculine so we'll pull messages from the x oracle this is one of my self-created ones one of my newer ones. So we'll go ahead and focus on the divine masculine first and what the masculine wants to say to the feminine. Okay, so there's a large group of you guys tuning in. So take whichever one of these messages from the masculine makes most sense for your situation. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Gemini, November first half, love and life. What does the masculine want to say to the feminine? I wish you the very best life has to offer. I just want you to be happy, even if it is without me. And this could have even been something that this masculine said to the feminine when you guys had this very painful ending between the two of you. You know, it's like, I just wish the best for you. I just want you to be happy, even if we can't be together. We also have, I love you. I always have. I always will. And some of my feminines, I feel you really needed to hear this from your masculine. Next message. Let's kiss and make up. All of these messages from this masculine still wanting to give this another try. Give it a shot. Give it a chance. Look at this. I'm willing to try again if you are. You see that? And look at this. I said a lot of things I didn't mean. I'm sorry. Okay, so this masculine possibly is saying things that could have been very hurtful to the feminine. But, you know, clearly we've got an apology here. I'm sorry. All right. So those are the messages from the masculine. Let's go ahead and grab some messages here from the feminine. I'm just deciding on which deck I want to use. Okay, so we're going to grab from the 5D Love Messages deck by Calico Moon for the Divine Feminine. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Gemini, for the Divine Feminine. Feminines, what do you want to say to your masculine here? What do you want to say to your masculine? We both aren't ready for each other yet. And I feel that's why we've got references to waiting and patience. Okay, so the timing has to be right. However, it's soon. You know, I don't feel you're going to be waiting long at all. Oh my God, this next message. This is giving me goosebumps. Look at this, feminines. Do you see that message? Have patience. This is not the end oh my goodness have patience this is not the end next message i have to work on myself right now which makes such sense considering we've got love yourself first so my feminines if this is where you're at take all the time you need but i really do feel for the majority you guys will really have a good opportunity to possibly reconnect sooner 
than you expected, and possibly for some of you during the autumn season. Next message, no one else can compare to you. No one else can compare to your masculine. And lastly, my feelings for you are intense. Yeah, they are. They really are. They're intense from both sides, from the masculine and the feminine. So it's just a matter of time, really, before you guys reconnect, I feel. Yeah, you guys had an initial ending, but it's ultimately not the end end. You know, there's a new beginning that's possible here. Just based off of everything that's coming through here. Give it a shot, you know? Give it a chance. Reconciliation. Amazing. Okay, so let's add to this. So we are now going to grab some messages from the Divine Love Affirmations deck. This is by my soul sister, Angelic Revelation 144. <laughs> I'm drawing such a blank today. So let's go ahead and grab some messages here, Gemini. And what I'll be focusing on is what you and your person would want to say to each other from your higher selves at this time. At this time of separation, tapping into your higher selves, what it is that you would want to express towards one another. Angels and spirit guides. Okay, we've got my divine partner is a catch and so am I. We are both blessed to have each other and should give thanks daily for the gift that keeps on giving. Isn't that interesting? Because again, fall season, Thanksgiving for some of you, of course, not everybody celebrates Thanksgiving, but for those who do, there's something going on or something that will happen during this autumn season. Possibly again during Thanksgiving. You know, and this is both of you simply acknowledging. It's like, look, I'm a catch, but so are you. And we both have good things to bring to the table towards the relationship. And you guys just really need to appreciate each other for what you're bringing towards the partnership. The next message, I handle disagreements with grace and wisdom. I go with the flow within my relationship with my divine partner. I don't hold anger or resentment. I simply surrender all negativity to the divine. Love it. Because this could have certainly been part of the issues when you guys were together the first time. Somebody who didn't handle themselves gracefully and needed the time apart to gain the wisdom as a result of the experience and difficulties that you guys experienced apart. And then we've got two hands, two hearts, one soul. I love this. I mean, we have soulmate coming through here, you know, and then you guys have the energy of the four of wands, which is a twin flame connection. So they're both represented here. Next one, I take ownership for how I make my divine partner feel. I do my part to repair any hurt I may have caused. So they're really willing to make amends here for their role in whatever caused the breakup, separation, or challenge. So I love those messages for you, Gemini, for you and your person. All right, guys, so let's close this out with some final guidance from the Twin Flame Current Vibes deck. This is by Sister Moon Tarot. Angels and spirit guides, please. For Gemini, to wrap things up for your reading. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Gemini. First half of November in Love and Life. Divine Feminine coming through. Okay, feminine energy. So I really feel for my feminines. This relationship means so much to you. But at the same time, you know, you're not willing to sacrifice your identity and so you're taking the time to really love yourself and empower yourself to be ready for this reconciliation. What else, please, for Gemini? Angels and spirit guides, please. We have crystal clear, okay? I know what I have to do now. Perhaps you've both had clarity on what it is that you need to do now 
to create movement and change to bring this back together. What else, please, angels and spirit guides for Gemini? We've got a lot coming through, but we'll take it. Okay, we've got I will never give up. We have cosmos. We've got secrets. We have signs. And look at this bottom of the deck. The grass isn't greener. Okay, so let's talk about I will never give up. I will always believe in you and our connection. This could be you saying this, Gemini, or this could be your person or how you're both feeling, ultimately despite the challenges and separation. Cosmos, I look to the sky to be connected to you. I trust that whatever brought us together at first will bring us back together. Okay, and the love certainly runs deep as it says right there. It's that love that's directing you guys back. We have secrets, which could have contributed to the problems and something that you guys perhaps need to work through. There is a lot about me I don't share. Ways I feel, things I have done, I hold it all in. All right. So possibly with a reconnection, it's time to really open up your hearts openly, open and honest discussion and no more secrets between the two of you. And then we've got the grass isn't greener. I thought I was making the right choice, but I was wrong. Things are not that great over here. All right, so more regrets. Boundaries that might have been crossed, lines that were crossed, third-party situations for some of you, and really coming to find that it wasn't what they were looking for. And lastly, we have signs, okay? I now pay attention to all the signs. I trust they are guiding me home to you. Some of you guys might have lived together, shared a home together, or you just feel like home, Gemini. You could also feel that your person feels like home and you're being guided back to them. So you guys have to pay attention to the signs that are presenting itself to you. It could be your person's name. It could be a number associated to you. It could be your birthday. It could be a song that they hear on the radio. Whatever it is, whatever these signs are, it's going to hit you like a Mack truck or it'll really jump out at them because there's no second guessing what these signs are. You don't have to question or wonder, hmm, is that a sign for me? You will know. Okay, it'll give you goosebumps. It's that type of sign. All right, so it seems to me, just based off of what's presenting itself here, Gemini, it's not done. It's not over. They want to make amends and they want to come back. Perhaps there's a part of your heart that wants to come back to them too. Okay, so this reconciliation, this happy reunion is certainly presenting itself here. And it's totally possible that you guys can work this out. So that's where I'm going to leave this one. And for those who are interested in your own personal private reading, that information is down below. Thank you guys as always for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Take care.